Have you ever ate at a restaurant that was so good you had to go around telling everyone how amazing it was? Well, that's exactly how I feel about the Hoka Clifton 8. This sneaker's comfort and overall technical design has knocked me right over. This is my full video review of the Hoka Clifton 8. Let's get straight to the facts. This sneaker fits true to size, and the cost of it is $140 USD or $160 Canadian. The large chunky look of the shoe doesn't justify its weight, which is a little over half a pound or 252 grams. It is very, very light. There's also a wider option for the shoe in 2E or extra wide for those who want a wider fit. Speaking of fits, the fit in this video was brought to you by Quality, this channel sponsor for your premium clothing that is sustainable, stylish, and affordable. Straight from Montreal, Canada, in this video, I'm going to be styling at Hoka Clifton 8s with their spring summer collection of 2023. This is the beige lightweight utility pants that features an adjustable hem for wearing your sneaker in various styles. The top is a very premium, thick long sleeve half button up shirt with a signature K for Koala. Back to the sneaker. For the longest time, I've been told to check out the Hoka sneakers and I haven't been able to get around to it until now. For those who are fans of Hoka, you might be wondering why I'm reviewing the 8 and not the 9. Well, unfortunately, I have only found the 8 in stores and I couldn't find the Clifton 9 at the time. When I have the chance though, I'll definitely check out the new Clifton 9. That said, after trying the Clifton 8, I am already impressed at how intentional the design was to be the best all-rounded sneaker it can be. It almost tops out every comfort category I can think of. I am talking about standing comfort, lounging comfort, and most important to me is walking comfort. But even so, the bonus and probably what it's truly designed for was athletic comfort and it scores highly in every category. There are a few ways to describe the comfort that the Cliftons provide. The EVA cushion and design is the perfect balance between responsiveness and plushiness. The responsiveness is the way you can feel an energy return when you run, but when you stay put, there's just enough cushioning or plushiness to keep your heels from feeling numb. The best sensations that I can explain for under your feet comes from the mid heel to the ball of your feet. The cushion feels like it's massaging your feet with every step that you take. The shape of the midsole was curved purposefully for the user to easily lean forward to transition into their next step. This is what they call a early stage meta rocker and it allows runners and pedestrians to feel like it is effortless to transition between steps. Another thing I want to mention is that they put a lot of faith into their design and it definitely works. However, the materials they use can be limiting and I'm talking about the EVA foam choice. It is known that EVA foam for a midsole can flatten out over time or lose its luster and because of this hunch, I found it to be true in multiple reviews of other people's Clifton 8s. I think what they could do is keep the same philosophy for the design of the shoe, however they can swap out the cushion technology for a licensed cushion technology or invent their own that is similar to EVA that will last a little longer. Since you've watched my video this far, you must like my content or fell asleep. Either way, hit that subscribe button if you want more of my videos, comment a hi or hello in the comments below unless you got a question for me. This has been Billy Visuals, y'all just got visualized and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.